Hello everyone, in this video we're going to determine the x-intercepts of quadratic equation. Please remember that by definition, an x-intercept is a point where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis, or pretty much an x-intercept is the value of x when y is zero. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, factor this um, given quadratic equation that we have here, in order that we can factor quadratic equation, we're going to use the box and diamond. So first, I'm going to show the box and diamond right here. So let's start with the diamond first. So the one that we write on top of the diamond is the product between the first term and the last term. So x squared times negative 45 is negative 45 x squared. And then the one that we write at the bottom of the diamond is the middle term, which is negative 4x. So then we are going to determine the factors of um, negative 45x squared such that if we add them, it's negative 4x. So these numbers would be 9x and 5x, but the 9x has to be negative so that if we multiply negative 9x times 5x is negative 45x squared, negative 9x plus 5x is negative 4x. The next thing that we're going to do is to put this into the area of the box. So we are going to put this inside the box. So this is how it's going to look like. We are going to write the first term with that is x squared. We are going to write the last term negative 45. And then we are going to write the red factors that we got from the diamond. It doesn't matter which one you would uh, where you want to write it. So I'll just put the negative 9x here. And then this is 5x. And so we can get the factors at this time. So we have x and x and then we have a five and then a negative nine. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this equation that we have here. Y is actually equal to the factors X minus nine and X plus five. So these two um, equations that we have here are equivalent. Now, since we say that an X intercept is the value of X when Y is zero, this means that we can set this up to zero so that we can find the x-intercept. So that would be x minus nine times x plus five. So then we go ahead and use the zero product property to solve for x. Okay, so what I did was I used the zero product property. I put the ones inside the parentheses equal to zero and I solved for x. So the first x value is nine and the second x value is negative five. So these two are the values of x when y is zero. So pretty much if we want it in coordinate form, these are the two um, x intercepts in coordinate form. So the two points are nine zero and negative five zero. On the side, you will see the Desmos version for this graph. We can see that in the Desmos version, we have nine zero and negative five zero as the X intercepts. So pretty much using the algebraic method or using the um, graphical method, they both give us the same X intercepts. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we are going to break this down into its factors using the box and diamond. So I'm going to show the uh, diamond right here. So first, again, the product of the first and the last. So 2x squared times negative 21, that would give us negative 42x squared, and then the middle term will go to the bottom. Now we have to determine the factors of negative 42x squared such that the sum is x, so that would be negative 6x and 7x, such that if we multiply negative 6x times 7x is negative 42x squared, negative 6x plus 7x is a positive x. So then we can go ahead and uh, draw the box here.
Okay, so we can rewrite this into its factored form. So that would be y is equal to, that's going to be 2x plus 7. And then we have x minus 3. So then we go ahead and remember that x-intercepts are the value of x when y is 0. So in order that we can determine the x-intercept, we set this equal to 0. Okay, so if we want it in coordinate form, so the x-intercept would be at negative 7 over 2, 0. And then the other one here is at 3 and 0. So these are the two um, x-intercepts for this graph of this quadratic equation right there. On the side, you will see the uh, decimals version of this graph. We can see that the x-intercepts are at negative 7, 2, 0, and 3, 0. So both the... Um, um, so both the algebraic method and the graphical method are actually giving us the same x-intercepts. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!